<laughs> ah, I wasn't. Ah, you butt much. <laughs> I really should have known. For I knew the tavern where we met was a favored haunt for their numbers. Consider this my thanks. A plume of white smoke rose from behind her. It engulfed the area in an instant. My mind felt bathed in white. I collapsed into the sensation. A strange voice echoed from nowhere in particular. For a suitable price, your wish will be granted. A white vessel. Hung in the air before me. A relic to grant one's any desire. And the source of countless monsters consumed by them. The sacred chalice. The woman in your arm. Is she to be your wish? It spoke as if it knew all my heart's desires. An image flashed before my eyes. Her face as I'd last seen it. If you would see her again, make your sacrifice. Offer up the red girl and... My anger boiled over. Huh. White smoke and clear skies. Red garbed Samelia gazes this way. Is sacrificed while I see Sortiar again? Is the debt now settled? There was resignation in his eyes. I don't mind. Is your wish? Change of bread, please. Will sacrificing me make your wish come true? Hmm. Good question. I thought I'd find a new friend. I'd always put on a brave face. They hate me just for my name and how I dressed in bed. Could have changed something else. For acting bold. That's why I surprised you. You are special. Is this what happens when you make friends? Nope, not in the slightest. Oh yeah, I rocked it. What's up? Gingerbread Village has been annihilated. Ding. Cool. I thought it. I thought it me. Yo, me. <laughs> Save complete. My anger boiled over. I bellowed that her joke was in poor taste. Oops. Then you knew. Yes, I knew. The fractured apple at her feet betrayed her illusion. An apple shade, to be exact. I'm sorry. She really meant a lot to you, didn't she? She seemed genuinely contrite. Please don't be cross. 
I had to test you. Grim asks one thing of the new. The fortitude to rely on no god. You passed. You resisted the illusion. You're perfect for Grim. I suppose I should have been flattered, but I declined. I have no interest in Grimm's words, nor any prophecy of eternal recursion. Moreover, she'd made a mistake. Had it been the true chalice, I'm not sure I could have denied it. The promise of seeing her again may prove too tempting. Is a dead woman really so dear to you still? I raised my right arm in response. She isn't dead. Not to me. She speaks to me still from within my arm. And I let her words guide me, spurring me onward. My burden, my karma. The third red hood wore a pout on her lips. Really? It's hardly fair someone should be immune to the Red Hood's wiles. Her cowl traced a bright red arc as she turned to leave. I suppose that means I need practice. Next time, though, just you wait. She swore to avenge her pride one day, a broad grin on her face. 